haven't done it already, guys, go over and get yourself some Goodview Woodworks tape at goodviewwoodworks.com. This is what we use for mold release when we build our molds. Check it out, it's three inches wide. And also, even though it's three inches wide, it's still the same length as most of the house wrap tapes, okay? So you can tape an entire four by eight sheet of plywood, four foot by eight foot with one and a half rolls of this. That's it. And it's cheaper than most of the ones out there. So go check it out. Go get yourself some. All right, we're gonna start by mixing up some Incredible Solutions casting epoxy. We're gonna start with the hardener first because it's thinner than the epoxy. And if you pour the epoxy first, the hardener will sit on the top and it'll splash out when you try to mix it. So we're gonna go ahead and pour the hardener first, then the epoxy. So we're pouring the epoxy here and we're gonna pour it about no, 48 right. ounces of it. Yeah. It's a two to one mixture, two parts epoxy, one part hardener. All right, we got our drill mixer here and we're gonna mix until you see that it's more translucent. And, they, and what I want you to do is to continue to scrape the sides and the bottom of the epoxy and the bottom of the cup so that the epoxy gets thoroughly mixed. One of the biggest issues when people are mixing epoxy is not mixing it well enough and not scraping the sides and the bottom of the cup. This is what leads to soft and bad spots in the epoxy, right? As you notice, it's starting to get clearer and clearer. Most people say that you want to mix for three minutes and it's really not about the time. It's really about how well you're mixing and if it's clear. And, and so scrape the sides and the bottom until it turns clear and you should be good with mixing. But give it about three minutes. All right, now my friend Justin wanted to use his own pigments. <clears throat> Oh, that's glittery. It's called black ice. Nice. I like the black ice. And so he's using some black pigment here that he had, and we're also going to be using some bright metallic pigment as well. <laughs> just make sure when you start mixing, don't just go ham and get that pigment to explode out of the top. You really want to take your time Start mixing slowly until it's combined, and then you can turn the speed up on your drill. Once again, you want to thoroughly mix. You don't want any clumps of pigments in your epoxy. So as Justin's doing here, he's continually moving it around and making sure all the little clumps are stirred up. And if you see what he did right here, he's getting the residual epoxy off of the mixer, and this helps with drips and with cleaning your drill mixer. Now we're just going to go ahead and pour into this silicone mold. By the way, this is the first time I've used one of these reusable silicone molds and they are awesome. I recommend if you're going to be making a bunch of these charcuterie boards that they're all the same size, I would say go ahead and invest in one of these silicone molds. However, I bought one just to see what it was like and all right, let's mix up some they seem to be pretty cool. Yeah. So we went ahead and mixed up some black, some more black pigment and some epoxy, and we did this multiple times um, to fill up that those voids in the walnut there. Now, if you want it to be darker, what we're going to do here is we're going to take some black resin dye, which is different than the black pigment in that it's kind of like yeah. Does that have to be super crazy food coloring. When you mix it with water, it just tints the epoxy. It doesn't give you that metallic color. So we're trying to darken it up. He wanted a little bit more black. So we added some black resin dye to it. So now he's just going to mix the same way and thoroughly mix that dye into it. And as you can see here, it's starting to get darker, which is exactly what he wanted. Once again, we're going to clean off that drill mixer and set it aside. So never throw away your scrap wood. This wood came from a tree that was knocked down by a tornado. We have a bunch of these splintery pieces of walnut and it actually gives it a lot of character and makes it look really cool. So I recommend never throwing away your scraps. You can always make a really cool project 
and this one will be for sale so you can always make some money off of scrap stuff as well. My thing is if you're throwing this away, you're throwing away a couple of bucks. We don't want to do that. So we're going to go ahead and pour one more uh, buckets of this black epoxy. Now, I can't remember exactly how much we used, but I think it was about three quarters of a gallon. Um, and so that is half of the gallon and a half casting epoxy kits. What do you have in the cup? Silver. <laughs> Silver? No, like what's your plan? You're going to oh, just yeah. pop it up in there or are you going to... just going to pop it up in there. Uh, I'm just going to pour... Do little loopy loops and rando design and like not mix it but just yeah we're not gonna mix it no okay because no. you, are you going for like a certain effect or uh yeah i, I don't know how to explain that you know, <laughs> little twizzly do's yeah little twizzly do's a little husker do's husker, husker don'ts, don'ts. <laughs> with or without the swizzle stick <laughs> Oh, it is brightening up a little bit, isn't it? That's cool. Mm -hmm. Let me get the other side. <laughs> oh my gosh. You gotta be quicker than that. Yeah, I think the contrast is cool. We'll see what happens, right? This yeah. is an experimento. Yep. That's yep. Spanish, right? Uh, yes, because you had O at the end of it. Oh. I think I get a little drizzle on the side there. Yep. You need to be using gloves. Uh, people no. are going to blow this thing. Oh, no, PPE. No. This isn't... I'm not, I'm not going to lick my finger afterwards. I'll be all right. <laughs> no, you definitely should be wearing gloves. Don't listen to Justin. Well, sure. If you don't plan on washing your hands right afterwards, you should wear gloves. If you're an unkept person like that. Eh. See what you get? Well, a glove wouldn't have helped me. <laughs> yeah, the, the ones that they use for, like, the cattle would have helped you. Yeah. I guess I'm on the end over there, on the very end. Yeah. There you go. What a mess. But I bet you it's going to look pretty dope. Dope. The drizzle dopes. I mean, I'll give it a swirl tomorrow morning. We'll just see what it looks like, right? It's yeah. gonna fade into it, so. Yeah, it's gonna fade and disperse. What's it gonna do? It's gonna disperse. <laughs> it's dish and purse. Disperse. Oh, like if you're saying, I have a satchel, this would be not that purse, but. That's a man satchel, though. I don't know. <laughs> no, not that purse, but. Disperse. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I get it. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the camera can't pick up all the sparklies. I know. That's what I hate, dude. It's just, dude, you just can't ever get the sparkle with a camera. All right, we're going to see what this thing looks like to morn. What did you say? So I was, was going to go get some grits from Mike today. But I'm not gonna stay after work, so. Anyway. I'm gonna get close to hear this peel. Oh. It's so satisfying. It really is. 
I mean, because you're not taking out any screws. Oh, the static. Mm. Look at that. Let me see the bottom. Okay, you got some pretty good coverage down there, man. Sealed everything, except for it got like maybe one little bubble there and one right there. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. Uh, it, it, it's a, I wish it would have gotten some uh, exothermics on the bottom there. Yeah. It's like really metallic. It's crazy that the camera can't pick up how sparkly it is. Yeah. Ah, it looks pretty. You never know what's going to be on the inside, too, when we plane it down. Truth, truth. You might have something. <laughs> what? Do the face? <laughs> do the face. <laughs> you can't, it's hard not to smile and do it, though. <laughs> so here we're doing a time lapse of planing down the top of this walnut and if you notice here we had a big piece that was kind of sticking up really high and we didn't want it to break off and shoot backwards at us through the planer and so we just took multiple light passes and as you can see when it comes out of the other side you can see where the cutters are hitting on the surface by each pass okay and so we're just going to plane this down on both sides until we have raw wood on both sides and then we're done can you do that like a couple more times though <laughs> For a... there you go am i movie ready now yes Screen ready? yep i got dust in my eye <laughs> Once you get the right spreader, it actually really spreads. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and dump the rest of that back up in, in the cup. We don't worry about the sides or anything? Not yet. That's good. The reason why you do one side as, as a time to tell you to only do what you can work in 10 minutes. Oh, it dries that fast? Well, it starts to, yeah. I got you. Little circles. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I was getting ready to ask, is there a certain technique? Yeah, he's trying to work it into the open pores. And that thing, <laughs> even though it's a non-abrasive, it's a little scratchy. Yeah. Kind of works it in there. In the carpet saddles. Is it really getting it? it actually does hurt right there. I mean, it got the look that you were looking for, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. What I was looking for. Then you can like take the excess that's on that thing and go over the edges. If 
got like these on either side. Yeah. Both. See, look at the side now. You're really pushing oil into it. You see what I'm saying? Mm hmm. You're like right there. There you go. There's no exposed wood over here. I would still wet it with the oil, even though so everything is fully covered. Guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. I'm going to post up some pictures right here of the finished project. Um, this thing looked really cool. It has a real smoky gray look because you have that dark black metallic. And then you also have that bright silver metallic mixed together. And you can see all the swirls. It looks really pretty. If you like projects like this, um, please click the subscribe button. Also, at the end here, right after I'm done talking, we'll post up some videos so you can click and keep on watching. This board will be for sale and I'll post a link as soon as it's up on the internet. All right, guys, thank you so much. And as always, thanks for hanging out with us.